Welcome back. Thank you for coming back. And this afternoon, let us do a bit of revision on logic gates and truth tables. You have studied this, but it is good to do some output revision and to know how to answer questions like this. And once again, uh, just remember that physics is fun. All right. Uh, even stuff like logic gates, it is so simple as you do it, you will be disappointed because it is too easy. All right. And remember, if you want to do well in your physics, you always need to do output revision. You have to keep on answering questions like what I'm doing with you. Now, most of the time, I am answering questions together with you. And this is actually rehearsal and this is output revision. And when you do more of such things, you will be more prepared for an examination. And on top of that, you will be able to understand physics much better. At the end of today's lesson, you will be able to write down the truth table for a combination of logic gates. Are you ready? All right, let's go. Now, this is a simple question. Diagram 29 shows a combination of two logic gates. All right. And what is the question now? All right. Which truth table is correct? So it is an objective test question. You are given A, B, C, D. All right. So I'm going to go through with you step by step. I will be going up and down, up and down. All right. From the first diagram, I go back to this answer. And then once we work through A, B, C, D, you will understand it very, very much better. All right. Now, I will just write something down here first so that you will understand. All right. Firstly, what are the names of these two logic gates? Just a bit of revision. It's good to know it and it's important for you to know it. The first one, from P. What is this logic gate? Alright. It's good for you to write down and remember and do revision. Okay. This is the NOT gate. Alright. So, it's good to just write down this is the not gate. Alright. Now, what about this big one? Next, just before R. Okay. This is the OR gate. Now, you can put a hyphen, doesn't matter. OR gate. Always remember to write down this. This is in block letters. NOT. OR is also in block letters. Okay. So, this is the OR gate. Now, P and Q are called the inputs, all right? R is the output. So, on this side, it is actually the input. So, we have input P and input Q, all right? We have two input, all right? I'll put it on the left-hand side. As I said, I'm going to explain it step by step to you. Input P. And here I have input Q. Alright, and this is actually output R. Okay, have you written it down? Okay, very good. Now, let's take a look at the truth table. I would like you to take one of the truth tables and write down exactly what I am writing down. What I do, you just follow, alright? So, P and Q, it is the input. What is R? It is the output. Alright. For the sake of time, I will not write it for the other few answers. Just focus on answer A in terms of what I've written. Input, output. Alright. Now, look at this. Input P is 0. Alright. And input Q is also 0. So it starts with 0, 0. I repeat, input P, 0, input Q, 0. All right, so what do I do here? Now I'm going to use the same color, all right? The reason is that by using the same color, you will not be confused. You will understand it much better. What was it just now? 0, 0. 
all right? P and Q, zero, all right? So I write down P and Q, zero. Now, the input P is zero going through a NOT gate, zero going through a NOT gate, it becomes one. And for Q, it is zero, so I write down zero here. I want to write it down in line so that I can follow. Now, one and zero going through an OR gate, it gives an output of one because you, you have already studied. All right, if it is one zero or zero one for an OR gate, it is one. All right, so the next one, let's take a look now. You look at all the four answers. In fact, all the truth tables, this is standard. We have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. The next input, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. And after that, we have 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, D, also 1, 0. And the final one is 1, 1. Answer B, the last one, input 1, 1. C, 1, 1. And answer D, the last one, 1, 1. You understand what I mean? Alright. So now I am concentrating on the next one. Alright. So the next one is 0, 1. Got it? So I'm going to use red color now. I'm going to use red color. The next one is 0, 1. P is 0. 0, Q is 1. Got it? So 0, Red color going through the not gate, not. So it becomes opposite, becomes one. What about the input one? One, okay, here there's nothing, I put one. So one and one going through an OR gate, I get one. All right, so what have I got so far? I have got the first two is one, one. All right, look at the answers again. What is it? It is one, one. So this is wrong, this is right. B, 1, 1, correct. C, 0, 1. This is wrong, this is right. The third one, this is 1, correct. This 0 is wrong. Now, in fact, if you are answering the examination question, after the first two, have you got the answer? Have you got the answer? It's easy, isn't it? But now we are learning. So I would go through every step right out, right till the end. But if it is ex an examination, you are sure of your steps, no careless mistakes, then after the first two steps, you already know that B is the only answer that is correct. Okay, we will double check. Do all the steps. Okay, I can see from your eyes that you are finding this interesting. Now what is the third one? The third one is, okay, I will use black, I underline it, 1, 0, alright, 1, 0, so I write now 1, 0, so 1 going through the NOT gate, it becomes 0, 0 is 0, 0, 0 going through the OR gate, it becomes 0, alright, so the third one is zero, the output. This is wrong. This is right. Wrong. All right. Zero is correct. All right. Now, the final one. The final one is, okay, I choose blue color. All right. This is one, one. Input for P is one. Input for Q is also one. All right. 1 going through the NOT gate, it becomes 0. Alright, 1, I put 1 here. So, 0, 1 going through an OR gate, it becomes 1. Alright, so what is the answer? You look, 1, 1, 0, 1. The output R should give us 1, 1, 0, 1. Alright, so the last one is 1. So, this is wrong, this is right, this is right, this is wrong. Okay, so the only answer that has everything correct is the answer B. Now, the method that I have taught you is something that you can use it 
when you do your work and also when you are answering the question in an examination. That is, this is a very good idea. This is a very good method to do it. All right. When you begin doing it, write it out in full, like what I am doing. Then you would not make any mistake. Do not write and erase. After that, you write again, you erase again. It is too tedious and too difficult. And by making use of colors, it becomes clearer. You can identify with the colors. So with this, I'm sure now, you will know what to do, how to construct, how to draw, and get the values of the truth table for a combination of logic gates. All right, good. I can see that you are happy. All right. And once again, thank you very much for being with me. And may God bless you. And here is Uncle Park.